Welcome to Shorty Super Coach, and let's get stuck straight into it. Round 13 always loomed pretty large, and I think a pass mark this week will be getting through unscathed without any serious damage to your ranking. I think we were always looking at this buy round, which is the final one, as perhaps the one that could really destroy us. Our back line and midfield has been hammered and surviving that is going to take a fair bit of effort and a bit of planning. Obviously, you can't plan now. Hopefully, you've done a little bit of planning the last few weeks just to get that extra player or two through. But look, my advice this week is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. I mean, if you can get ideally 18, that's great. I think 17 will be about a par mark. There will be people who do have 20 or 21. They may have gone hard on the trade table they may have just had a slightly different team. But I think if you've had two reasonably good weeks in these first two buy rounds, then round 13 was always going to be, with that structure and that type of uh, setup with your team, was always going to prove the toughest. So just get through it as well as we can. I've talked about the fact how you can work your trades to an advantage through these buys. I think firstly, Fife, he's got to go. A bit of an injury he's dealing with. Love Fifey, but, you know, he must go now. And, look, it works out reasonably well because he does have the buy. David Myers, another popular selection, he must go as well. For who that is, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm going to have to take a look closer. But I think, you know, is Callum Brown in the midfield? I think he is. But, look, it's pretty simple. It doesn't matter who it is. Just I'm telling you which guys need to go. Make a decision on your own part, whichever premium it is for Fife or if you're going to go up from Myers, you might do that as well if you've got a fair bit of coin. But whoever it is, I'll be saying downgrade Myers, get some cash, upgrade Fife to, say, a Martin or a Selwood or a Zorko or something like that. And Jack Steele as well, a few people have him too. Upgrade to him, whoever you don't have from these perceived top six to eight forwards in a premium status, bring them in. And look, I would say probably Pruce as well. Again, he hasn't come in. We've been waiting. We've been hoping for a long time. If you need to free up some coin, then fair enough. Go for him there. I think that could be an option. I think Tim English came back into the side for the dogs. So perhaps I wouldn't see him as a great long-term option, but at least maybe he could uh, stop a zero for the moment. So I think that's probably something we should do as well. I think other than that, just look at getting through this round as best you can. If you've got 16 and you're wishing you could have 18, but to get there you're going to have to burn a player that in your heart of hearts you wish you didn't really get rid of, I think that answers the question. Just cop it. If you're looking at a player and going, oh, gee, I could probably trade him, but in your gut you're saying, what are you doing, mate? He's a keeper. He's not ready to be traded, you know. You're just going to have to bite the bullet. Unlucky, you cop two zeros. You know, depending how the week goes, a zero could hurt more than others. If there's the odd dud score from a premium, then all of a sudden you can get brought back to the pack a little bit. But I'd say don't do anything outlandish. Don't, you know, sell the farm, as they say, just to get through this week because you'll pay even more so down the long term. Because if you really go hard and do some poor trading just to get to 18 this week and then you've burnt trades unnecessarily i think the value of a donut or two this week if you get rid of those you could suffer some real pain down the track so look while that short-term pain of getting a donut and your weekend's already going to be poor before it even begins look that sucks but i think down the track if you did that you got 18 players but in six weeks time you're going Oh, geez, I wish I kept that guy. I wish I had an extra trade. I wish I had this and that. So, look, I feel as if we've definitely got to still keep a pretty simple trade plan and not sway too far from what we would normally do. I really think that's important. But, look, Luke Ryan's probably going to be a guy that we look towards next week. And, look, Sloan's on the drop. Um, Bonton Pally's going to be a very nice price soon. Um, I think Doherty, if you're going to get him ever, now's probably the week. I'll be trying to do that. There's no guarantees I'll be able to do that. But otherwise, I think this week is going to be tough. Hopefully, we can get through it. No dramas. So, all the best for this week. Hopefully, you do have a reasonable week in Supercoach. It will be tough. There's no doubting that. But I look forward to seeing how you all went 
on the Monday. I'll be doing my press conference, of course. So looking forward to seeing how you all went. Subscribe to the channel, as always. Um, I haven't been able to get around to any comments this week. I might look to get through a few tomorrow morning. So it's Friday, mid-morning. So hopefully, um, you know, there isn't too much of a big question you've got for me. But look, it's pretty simple. you just got to try and field as many players as you possibly can without doing anything stupid. I mean, that's pretty much all it is. You know, don't burn a trade that's unnecessary and don't sell the farm. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. All those things I say quite regularly. So, again, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys soon.